Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be looking at the question, reach a number. So you are standing at a position 0 on an infinite number line and there is a goal at a position target. On each move, you can either move left or right. During the nth move, starting from 1, you take n steps. We need to return minimum number of steps required to reach the destination. In the example when the target given is 3, so we take 1 step from 0 to 1 and in the next step we take 2 steps from 1 to 3. So this gives us total number of step equal to 2. In the example 2, the target given to us is 2. In the first step we take 1 step 0 to 1. In the second step we move backwards or left from 1 to minus 1 that are 2 steps and in the third move we move 3 steps from minus 1 to 2. This gives us total number of steps as 3 and so the output is 3. The note states that target will be a non-zero integer in the range of minus 10 raised to 9 to plus 10 raised to 9. So now let's see how we can solve this question. Let's take this example where we have this as our area and we need to reach 6. So what we do is from 0 we go one step forward to reach 1. From here we can go either to left or right so we move right this time two steps. From here again we can go three steps back or three steps forward. So we move forward and that we have reached our destination. So the answer here is 3. Now what if the question was to go to the target 2. In this case we would need to go backwards also. So from 0 we go to 1. From here we go two steps back. From here we take three steps forward. In this question, the main thing that we know is in the nth time, we are taking n steps. So, if we find the maximum target that we can reach for n step, it would be given by this formula that is sum of 1 to n function of n. And this function of n would be the x, the value of x or step. The second thing that is given in this question is that we can even move to a negative direction. For this example, we are moving two steps behind to go to 2 in 3 steps. But in previous example that we saw, we were taking 3 steps to reach 6. That is the maximum target we could have reached in 3 steps. So now, if we try to manipulate 1 plus 2 plus 3 to give the output as 2, it would look something like this. So what we need is 1 minus 2 plus 3. These are the steps we are taking. To get the effect of this minus 2, we would need to do 2 multiplied by the steps. So this would give us the effect of going to the negative side in the second step. In the first minus 2, we are coming to a neutral position. In the second minus 2, we are going actually to the negative side. So according to the theory that we have seen, we can come up with this algorithm that is mentioned over here. So we would add the steps till we reach a target. So for example 2, we would add step 1 and step 2. We add the step 2 because in step 1 we have not reached the target. Now, once we have the step 2, the target is already surpassed. So we are sure that there were some negative steps which we missed. So we would go on adding the steps while we can subtract 2 into some steps. So this gives us these two conditions. That is add the steps till we reach the target and then add the steps till the sum minus target becomes a divisible of 2. That's all about the theory. Let's go ahead and code this question. So we will take two variables, sum and step, which would be 0 initially. Now, since here we are given that the target can be minus 10 raised to 9 to plus 10 raised to 9, we know that moving to negative part would be actually mirror of moving to the positive part. So in order to shorten our problem scope, we would take the absolute value of target. That's it. Now, while sum is less than target, what we do is sum plus steps and we do steps plus plus. After we have come to the target, what we do is while sum minus target is not divisible by 2, we again keep on adding steps. At the end, steps minus 1. Okay, and let's run this code. 
let's try for some other inputs let's try for a negative input that's it and let's try for okay so for zero we can add a base condition where if target equals to zero return zero and let's run for this test case now and that's it let's submit this code and it got submitted so the time complexity would be equal to the number of steps that we are taking and the space complexity would be o of 1 that's it for today thanks for watching the video see you in the next one